Cyber risks are a way of life for all businesses today, and the energy sector is definitely not exempt. The energy sector's critical infrastructures are a primary global target of state-sponsored cyber terrorists and also by hacktivists that are looking to wreak major havoc or even employees that have an axe to grind. Their goal isn't necessarily to steal data, but to disrupt or even shut down operations. In the U.S., all enterprises involved with energy and utilities are vulnerable to cyber attacks, and a major emphasis is being placed on protecting the critical electrical and water and oil and gas systems and grids by both private companies and the government. Why is the energy sector so important? First, this sector has a huge interdependence with all other sectors, and any disruption would have across-the-board consequences with all other sectors. Perhaps more importantly, our national security depends on this sector. Just imagine if the power grid for the eastern seaboard was shut down. Stock markets would collapse, businesses would panic, communications would be disrupted, and widespread chaos would ensue. Interestingly, there are different challenges among the subsets of the energy sector. Electrical concerns are highly networked, and this brings both pluses and minuses when it comes to cybersecurity. Take one down, you can take a bunch of them down. But there is strength in numbers, and the electric systems do a good job of working together to help each other avoid cyber disasters. On the other hand, oil and gas concerns are not nearly as networked as their electric counterparts, and because of this, many are somewhat on their own island when it comes to cyber issues. Also, because of the steep drop in oil prices in recent years, there have been many mergers as oil companies fail, and many times, the cybersecurity aspects of these mergers have been overlooked, creating major opportunities for the bad guys. However, all energy sectors have something in common. A rapidly expanding use of smart grid technology, which connects more and more of their systems to Internet of Things devices. This trend has opened up new vulnerabilities just because of the huge number of connected devices that have little or no security. Mitigating the cybersecurity risks associated with energy sectors, along with also navigating the complex regulatory environment, is not easy. But there are steps to take to better protect these assets. Robust employee cybersecurity training, sufficient cyber-specific insurance, an honest network assessment, including all connected devices, identifying security holes, regular network phishing and penetration testing, business continuity plans, well-thought-out policies and procedures, use of intrusion detection software, and just plain old sharing of information with peers are some of the best ways to guard against unwanted cyber intrusions in the energy sectors.